All praise is to the Almighty, sublime, most magical one, the creator of all things, and the master of the day of judgment. Hallelujah! And to our most beautiful mother, Marihala, the Ruach HaKadosh, also known as the Holy Spirit. Bless you, mother. We ask you for wisdom. Psalms 24 The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek his face, O Jacob, Selah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. For the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Hallelujah. Shalom, everyone, all ye starseed out there and allies of the starseed, all those that belong to the kingdom of love and light. I send you infinite love and light, and I receive yours. If you're new to my station, I am the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew rose of Jericho, coming at you with a magical show. Hallelujah. Let me read that third verse again. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? Hallelujah. We, Starseed United and Allies of the Starseed United, has had access, access to that most holy place where the Most High stretched out His hand in judgment. Hallelujah! Because you have clean hands and a pure heart and you don't seek the things of this world, the vanities of this 3D dimension. Hallelujah. You have ascended in your minds. Hallelujah. I just want to thank Mother again for her guidance. Hallelujah. Of how to master my thoughts. And I'm going to share that again with the nation. Yeah, many of us have done our shadow work. You know, we, we've dealt with things that we have done or different behaviors that we have participated in. We've done our shadow work, but there's more shadow work. Seeking out the Most High and the Mother for forgiveness and turning away from our wicked ways, that was us washing our hands. Yeah, that's how we cleansed our hands. And so we, we have been successful in cleansing our hands, yeah. And so then the Most High says, in order to go to those holy hills, in order for us to seek out His face properly, we have to have a pure heart. Yes, and so today I'm going to sh share with you um, some of the shadow work that the mother guided me through and the tools that she gave me in order to obtain clean hands and a pure heart and how not to lift my head up to the vanities of this 3D dimension. Yeah, and so there is a lot of work that's going on in this work and it's spreading like wildfire. 
Yes, hallelujah. Okay, so this is where I started with my thoughts because our thoughts, our thoughts come from different places, okay? And so I have here where I had some thoughts coming from outside sources. I had thoughts that came from within. And then I had thoughts that came from the spirit. Yes, and so I had to learn how to recognize the sources of those thoughts. Okay, that 85% that, that of outside source, that is the static. And that is what I needed to master. Because all of that 85% that was coming to me through thoughts were coming from outside source, okay? And so I have learned that if it's something that brings my vibration down... I slammed the door on it. Yeah, we can we can choose to internalize thoughts or we can choose to expel the thoughts. Yeah, and that is what I have learned to master. Yeah, for the most part. And I'm not saying that I'm perfect in it yet. I know it's so many more levels to go. I'm just describing what was going on with me and kept me disturbed, okay? First of all, most of it was coming from what people had done to me. They had already um, committed a trespass against me, right? And, and, and uh, I felt all of the anguish from when they did it. And then those outside sources kept reminding me of the messed up things that whatever that person did to me, they kept on reminding me. Then they would go on to tell me what that person was thinking. And, you know, and just it was just like a constant, constant source from outside that would bring my vibration low. So I remember in the beginning of my awakening, uh, what happened was I was saying the Lord's Prayer. And I was, I, I noticed that most of my thoughts were coming from what people had done to me. Because, honey, people, oh my goodness. It was like a, a never-ending source of enemies coming at me, doing messed up things to me, right? So I noticed that I had a lot of these thoughts coming, reminders, those spirits that would remind me of that messed up thing. Those thoughts would bring my vibrations down low. And so when I was reading the Lord's Prayer that day, I said, I'm going to discipline myself that every time a thought comes to me of what someone did to me, I'm going to say, uh, Father, forgive me my trespasses as I forgive those who trespassed against me. Right. And so I noticed like the next day it was like 50 times I had to say it and the next day, 50 times. And then it started reducing. It started becoming less and less frequent. But uh, it made me pay attention to how much I was reminded and how it affected my vibration. And so my, by me doing that little discipline right there, first of all, I moved my own self into forgiveness. Yeah, I'm like, I'm going to forgive these people. It, it'll just be on them. I'm just going to forgive them, right? But the frequency of it was, it, it was just like, I was like, dang, I've been going for decades like this in a low vibration from these thoughts. And believe me, when I did that one discipline, now when, when the thought would come at me about what somebody one had done to me, when that thought would come and I would say that verse, it, the thought would immediate, immediately be banished. You know, I wouldn't think about it. Then they come at me with something somebody else did. I do the same thing, thought banished. Until it just started becoming less frequent because it wasn't affecting me any longer. Yeah, so I had learned to shut the door on those kind of thoughts. Before, I didn't even know I had a door. Many of us didn't know that we had a choice to open the doors of our spirit man and let thoughts in or slam the door or not even open the door. We didn't know we had the power to do that. So once we recognized that, we were able to master our thoughts of what came in and what came out. Because just look at this chart. I had 85% coming from those sources, 10% of the 
of those thoughts were coming from within me, ideas, such plans and what I wanted to do. 10% of that and 5% was coming from the spirit. And so by me just gaining back the power of that 85% of my thoughts and what I what I allow in is like that whole 85% went to spirit. Spirit being the source and my own thoughts have increased too because then I have ideas, creativity. You know, I'm driven to do these videos and share my experiences with my star seed to help them as well because mother, she wanted us to master our thoughts and get rid of all the static so we, that we can hear the truth of things and we can see the truth of things. And we have been gifted with a lot of magic because of it. The only ones that can enter into these places and be heard are those with a clean hand. Yeah, so we did our, our shadow work and we washed our hands real good. We sought the Most High's face. Yeah, and we turned from our wicked ways and we have clean hands now. And now our shadow work is moving to purifying self. Or having a pure heart. So mother taught me how to master my thoughts in that way. And to choose to internalize or to deny access to those kind of thoughts. But I also had to learn a great lesson. And that is I had to learn to deny access to low vibrational people. That I know that are low vibrational people. And how do I know they're low vibrational people? Because in their um, behaviors, in my presence, they could bring my vibration from 100 down to zero. Yeah. And so those people of the low vibration that want to say yes to the devil against me or offend me, I could access to them. I could access. I, I, I had the mind. I didn't know any better. You know, I thought that if it was relatives... Or, you know, your loved ones, the ones that you love, that you had to show your loyalty by always giving them access. No, 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 no. It's all about energy. And so if someone had repeatedly brought my vibration down from 100 to zero or diminished it in any kind of way, I had to cut access. Mother had to teach me that because I would think that it being loyal meant to content because I love them that I had to be in their presence no 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 so I guard my energy by denying access to these people too and so that cuts down the static because I'm not dealing with drama now <clears throat> we are very intuitive right now and because we have cut access to many of these people we can feel their energy we want we know what they're doing behind the scenes and mother downloads to us what's happening so that we could protect ourselves from their energy. Yeah, and by that I'm talking about like with the incense, with the crystals, with the candles. I have a fountain that I have flowing water in my home to, to create a healthy environment. An inviting environment for the good and very uncomfortable for the wicked ones. Because people do send energy our way. To bring our vibrations down. Yeah, so we protect ourselves in that way. And just keep on about our business. So at this point. Since we have elevated to this point, And we have done our shadow work. And we've, we've learned some uh, great lessons. Of how to protect our energy. It's like we can hear clearly now. Yeah, all of that static is gone. Yeah, and we leave those to deal with their own shadow work. And some of us seem like we were so tangled up with these people and our ancestors, the Ruach Kakadash, our Holy Mother, you know, and our angels have removed some people from our lives because they had too had the ability to bring our vibration from 100 to zero in a flash. Yeah. You, you're all, you wake up all happy and motivated and, you know, seeking the most high's face. And then they do something and they bring your vibration down low. Yeah, these people are being removed from our lives when we feel like we're 
obligated to them in any kind of way they'll leave you know and it's all in the most highest plans because now we are gaining a pure heart and the ruach and our ancestors and our angels are protecting us when we can't protect ourselves by denying access they deny access uh, to these people yeah because it's, it's all about our energy yeah, and we are star seed and we are in the times of judgment and we are needed now. Our energy is needed to spark the judgments upon the earth. It's all a part of the cleansing. And sometimes we struggle, um, we, we struggle with that. You know, it's like it, it is a missing part of your life when these people are removed or, or they're not allowed access to you anymore. We struggle with that. But then you notice when they are removed, your peace comes back. You don't have all that static in your mind. Yeah. So then if you get that other part, what we've talked about at first with, with those spirits that try to remind you of what these people do. Once you learn how to master that properly and that that energy is removed from your life. Bam. Oh my goodness, all of the static is reduced to zero or almost zero and you can hear from mother. Yeah, and that is why these things are happening in the kingdom. Many, many separations. Yeah, just know that it's in the Most High's plan. It's in His plan. Sometimes the Most High has to put us in that hermit mode where we're just in a little bubble. Yeah, and we are very well protected in that bubble. Yeah, so all of the the uh, evil energies that would try to bring our vibration down is bouncing back on those who is trying to send it to us. Okay, so we did deal with loved ones and we're in a state of forgiveness. We are not haunted by what they did. You know, we're just moving on trying to elevate and get closer in the kingdom and leaving their shadow work to themselves. Yeah. And so it's all been magical. It's all been magical because we have the clean hands now and our hearts are being purified just by mastering our thoughts. Yes. And once we mastered our thoughts, you know, it's like. Um, that's when our hearts are purified because when once you maintain that door and not let anything in then we start cleaning up the house inside cleaning up the house by seeking the most high's face and asking him for his mercy now my favorite prayer to my father and my mother is that they give me the grace to make them proud of me yes and so I know that if they grace me, that I will walk in the path. And that's what makes the heart purified. Yeah, we have to get in touch with that child. That's another thing that the Most High uh, and Mother gave to me as a tool in my shadow work. Um, I remember I was really troubled at this time about things that people did to me. This is in the beginning of my shadow work. And so it was a, a, a drama episode that happened and nobody wanted to hear what I had to say. And so I was told by mother, by spirit, tell us your story. So I went through the whole scenario. I went through the whole scenario. And so then mother told me, she said, the most high is omniscient. He knows everything that happens. And not only do he know what happened, but he knows the hearts. He knows your heart and he knows their heart. And in that, I was just so confident because I know my heart was in the right place when that was done to me, you know. And so that gave me peace because in that situation, I didn't deserve the treatment that I was given. But by me knowing that the Most High knew my story and he knew my heart and he knew their hearts, I didn't have to have somebody else in this 3D dimension to hear my side of the story anymore. I know the Most High knows the story. You see, so that was a freedom in itself. And then in that same time, they told me to go back to being a little child before anything in this matrix affected me. And I did. 
I went back to myself before anyone in this matrix uh, or any energy affected my energy. And I thought about her. Yeah, my little self. Yeah, I was very sweet and innocent. I loved to explore. I was happy. You know, I just wanted to play. I wanted to learn things. I wanted to make others happy. And that's who I was. Yeah, before anything in this matrix affected me, I felt safe, secure. I knew that I was loved. I could feel the love. You know, until things in this matrix affected me. And so I had to go back to her. And I wanted to be her again. Yeah, so go back to that time before anything in this matrix hurt you or affected you in any kind of way. Just keep in mind that you're going back to the self before anything in this matrix or anyone in this matrix hurts you. Seek that part of yourself out. That's why Yahweh Shai, he said, unless you come as a little child, you will no wise enter into the kingdom of heaven. So we must find our star seed self before it was affected by anything in this matrix. And then in that 24th Psalm, it's, it's talking about people that lifted their souls unto vanity. That's the 3D things. Yeah, and, and a large part of that static came from uh, the 3D desire to be accepted by others in this 3D dimension. Because starseed, if you are a starseed, I guarantee you 100% of all of us have experienced levels of rejection everywhere we go that others just do not experience people just do not like us low vibrational people do not like us because it's all about energy and so their energy doesn't go well with our energy it's like oil and water they don't even know why they don't like us it's because we were star seed. So once we get over that, it's a great freedom as well because we're not worried about if people like us or not, accept us or accept our truth. You know, we're just we're just going with what the Holy Spirit, our mother, is telling us to do. You know, we're being guided through. We know that we're loved and accepted by the mother and the father. We're in the knowing now that we are accepted by the mother and the father. We're not guessing at it or have belief and faith that they accept us. We actually know that they love and they have accepted us. And once we know that, the power that people had over us, that reigned over us with their rejection of us, you know. Yeah, and they were able to control our energy because of their rejection. It, the power of that is just diminished. It's diminished. They don't have that power over us anymore because we know that we're accepted. Yeah, hallelujah. So just a little quick recap. You know, we have to have those clean hands. Yeah, and we repented, did our shadow work. Yeah, sought the most high. Keep those law, statutes, and commandments. That's keeping our hands clean. So we did that. And then the pure heart. That's us going back to that child. And in order for us to go back to that child, we have to do our work. Yeah, we have to clear out all that static and find our little child again and become that little child. That's us having a pure heart. Yes, hallelujah. Okay, you guys, I hope this helped you out. If it did help you, share this with your, your brothers and sisters that are just waking up and starting to do the shadow work these tools may help them yeah so that they can just advance very quickly because everything about this was very simple that's how the mother deals with me in a very simple way so that i can understand it it's not all complicated i didn't have to dive down on the floor and roll all around my house and scream and holler and fast no no, I didn't have to do all of that. I just had to clear my mind so that I can hear from spirit. Hallelujah. Yeah. Okay, you guys. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit that like.
subscribe and share this good news of the gospel. This is a gospel. Hallelujah. Yeah, this is good news. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for your uh, kind gifts of love towards me. Very needed and appreciated in this 3D dimension. I pray that the Most High bless you and uh, multiply it a hundredfold to whatever your heart desire is. Yeah. Okay, you guys, until the next magical show, your big sister, the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew rose of Jericho, out. Shalom!